All right, so we're going to be picking this Brady Locker Lotto Lock. Um, it's got an Abus keyway in it. Um, so there's the key with the bidding because it's really low in the middle, high at the back. Um, you'll see it better when I pull it apart, but it's got the famous Abus shaped keyway. The keyway actually spells out the word Abus. Now, this can be a bit annoying, and with the tensioner in it, I've, it's very easy to accidentally pick your tensioner out of the lock, so that's obviously not something you want to do. Anyway, click out of one. Bit of a counter rotate to click on that thing. That one. Trying to make sure I don't lose the tension out of the lock yet again. Clicking can I rotate there? Oop. Tap down into a deeper false set. Let's see if we can find the fitting pin that's giving that. So just hunting around for some signs of can rotation. Seal set. There we go, got it. Just struggling on that back. Getting that really high lift on the back pin there, so it's definitely open. Oops, if we just, shackle hasn't quite come out. Careful, I don't know if these ones will rattle, I'm assuming they will. There we go, shackle's loose. Um, not like the 1100, like most lotto locks, it's not spring loaded, so we'll just Lock that. Oh, must be key retaining. Yeah, oh, it is. I oh, remember that. That makes sense. Oh. Trapped my tensioner in it now. That's awkward. Come on. Oh. You don't want it to come out. Oh, there we go, relocked. All right, let's move that out of the way. It's got this with the key. So, screw hole down here. Ooh, yep, reasonably stiff for the first time it's come out. I'm assuming this plastic cover's gonna come off or something. Is that actually undone? Nope. Let's 
get the same tray in. Okay, the whole thing comes out. Screw there. Ball bearing mechanism in there. We're going to leave in the lock. All right. Yeah, we'll have to unlock that to get the core out. Yep. All right. Uh, C clip on the back. These little tiny ones. Whoop, that went clinging off into oblivion, but thankfully it only hit my shirt and didn't go the other direction. Yeah. Let's turn that about 45 degrees that way-ish. Um, it actually has a lip at the back, so I should probably shim that and not be lazy. Just in case. Let's take my small size follower. Stick that on like that. Is it? Oh, it's going to be a tight fit. Oops, I'm trying to dump the key pins in upside down. All right. Yes, that probably would have bricked itself. Oh, no. Maybe not. I think the way that sits in there, the plastic could stop it rattling. Not sure. I don't think that'll rattle. Uh, oops, not that it would matter, because you can cut it. Okay, so, there they all are in a chip. So, okay, let's get these out one at a time. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So they're all standard, no security. Estorations or anything on those, which is sort of typical for most lotto locks. Tiny size pins, no serrations. Now, there you should be able to see that keyway is vaguely spells out the word Abus. Abus. Which. Mm. Kind of harder to see on the key, but this is the inverse, but Abus, fancy Abus keyway. Not too difficult. It's got a straight path up the middle, but there are a lot of things to get caught on on the edges if your pick ever ends up on a bit of an angle. Um, they, they do get stuck. So what have we got in the way of driver pins in this thing? Let's see if we can get that. Whoa, nearly lost it. Just try and get the shim out of the way because it's a tight fit. Alright. Pin one is standard. With the spring. Two is a little spool. Three spool. Guessing this is going to be all spools from here on. Yep. Spool. Spool. And spool. And springs. All right. So nothing too exciting there. Um, now, if we put these key pins back in, just out of interest. Seeing why many of these didn't really act spooled. But definitely the back ones do. So the front one being a standard pin, you can see that falls in actually to shear. That's, yeah, there's no lip there at all. So actually, technically, if you just don't touch that at all, that won't block rotation at all. The spring will just glide across. So that's not great. That driver pin should be longer. Um, 
But these front spools here, like they do catch in, but only a little bit. And here, not at all. So that's going to act like a standard pin in this low lift one there. But some of these other ones, I should give proper spool action there. Hmm. That one basically doesn't need to be picked at all. Sits below shear. That one it does. So yeah, in two positions here, you've got pins that don't need to be picked at all just due to the length of the drivers. So the spring, if that's not clear already, the spring would just sit like this and the whole thing will glide around and you're likely to get these caught up when you do that. So it can be easy to damage them like this. That's easily fixed if they'd have just made these driver pins a little bit longer. You know, if that was another half a millimeter longer, that would get, that would not be sitting at the shear line and you would still have to pick it. Um, and the same goes for this one. That's a bit of a disappointment with these that they fit in like that. But anyway, it is what it is, and they do have the very cool Apis keyway, which is really the reason I bought this lock, was I wanted to have a look at one of those. So there you go, that's a Brady, obviously made by Apis, um, lock out, take out lock.